Hello everyone. There have been some great conversations going on recently in our life group here in Aston about how we as Christians uh, should think about our work. We spend a lot of time at work and it's good for us uh, together as a church family to work out ways in which we can support one another as we engage with our work. Some of this material that we're going to look at uh, we already worked through during a church weekend away in 2018 but I'm conscious that there are loads of new people who've joined our church family of this last uh, few years and so we thought that uh, this resharing this material in a little series of short videos would be a good way for us to highlight uh, the subject of work again and help us to think about it from a biblical perspective. Um, I really hope that this uh, little series will stimulate some healthy conversations about how we can connect our faith and our work as we live our lives. Now, before the weekend away that we did, the background to this is that I'd been asked to spend a couple of days leading some training with a group of about 20 staff from a Christian organisation called UCCF who work with students who, who are at uni. And the idea was to help this team think about developing a theology of work, a framework, if you like, to think about work so that they could help prepare Christian students for the world of work after their studies. Now, they, they actually asked me about this a year in advance. So on and off, I, I, I was thinking about the subject of work pretty much for a whole year. And there are a few great, great resources. Um, I'll share some of, some of them with you at the end that I was able to read and, and a fair bit of life experience as well to reflect on. And, and after all this thinking and uh, reflecting over a whole year, this, this was my conclusion. This was my brilliant insight. After a whole year, all that thinking boiled down to this. This was my conclusion. Work is good and work is hard. It took me a year to come up with that. And what, what I mean by that is that God has a good design for our work. Work is a good thing. As human beings made in God's image, we're designed to be fruitful and productive. Um, but it's also true, isn't it, that because of the brokenness that sin brings into the world, sadly, work can often be frustrating and difficult and hard. So is work something to be enjoyed or endured? Is our work an opportunity or an obstacle? Should it be an exhilarating pleasure or is it just a frustrating pain? I think biblically the answer is probably that it's often both. And we need a theology of work that will help us to be enthusiastic and optimistic about what work is meant to be. And that also helps us to be patient and realistic when work is not what it was meant to be. I, I think as Christians, of all people, we have resources to help us to be both optimistic and realistic. At the outset, I want to be clear that when I say work, I want to include in that paid work, voluntary work, school work or study work, and the important work of raising children at home or caring for other members loved ones in our family. In the next video, we'll take a look at how the world of work and our attitudes towards work are changing. And then over the next few videos, we're going to explore um, some of the reasons, firstly, why work is good. And then we'll think about what makes work often hard. If you're interested, before we close this video, um, in some of the resources I found helpful, um, I found this book by Tim Keller, called Every Good Endeavour, Excellent. Um, another book that I found really encouraging was this one called Work Matters, Connecting Sunday Worship to Monday Work by a guy called Tom Nelson. And a shorter book by Tim Chester uh, called Gospel Centred Work, Becoming the Worker God Wants You to Be. There's others as well, but those were the main three that really helped me as I was thinking through this whole topic. Uh, I hope that's helpful as an intro and uh, look forward to putting out online the next video. So uh, keep tuned in and I'll see you next time. Thank you.